Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It's 5.30 a.m. and I'm going to do cardio. It took a lot of convincing myself this morning to get up and go do this cardio. I was thinking of every excuse under the sun to not go, but I need to go. I'm just going to have some hydrolyte and a drink because I just feel like I need something. I don't want a coffee yet. So I'm going to have one of these. I just pulled up to the gym and there's only two stair machines here and sometimes they're both getting used so I'm just praying fingers crossed that they're not getting used because then I have to do cardio on the elliptical and I do not want to do cardio on the elliptical especially because at the moment my heart rate is struggling to get up my resting low yesterday got down to 36 beats per minute 36 beats per minute which is like the lowest it's ever been. Um, so it's actually really hard to get my heart rate up. So I need to go on the stairs. So fingers crossed. No one's on them. Oh, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> my headphones <laughs> are low battery. That's okay. Hopefully they last a little bit. Okay, let's go get this done. My hair oh my goodness <laughs> I just finished cardio and I'm so happy I did it so happy I did it I was this close this close not going I was like you know what I can just do it after I train today but I did it and it's only 6 30 I'm gonna go home eat my oats which I'm so excited for and then I think I work from a cafe for a bit oh wow you just feel so good doing something you don't want to do. And I feel like that's just been so evident the past few weeks with me. To be honest with you, I have hated training. I don't want to go to the gym. And even while I'm there, I'm actually not enjoying my session. But it's just a matter of like doing it because there's no trick that's going to make you love your session anymore. And sometimes you're going to go through phases where you honestly hate training. And then all of a sudden you like it again. And that kind of happened to me yesterday. I was like, oh. I want to train today. I'm actually keen to go, but I literally changed nothing. You just go through these cycles and you just got to keep showing up because if you keep relying on your motivation or waiting till you like, you feel good, you're never going to get to where you want to be. So just go get it done. This is like my little mini pep talk to you. Go do something you don't want to do because you're going to feel so much better afterwards. I think I have a new favorite flavor of the pea sites protein, the chocolate peanut butter cup. It's so good, so good. Here is my breakfast. It doesn't look very appetizing because I always put so much extra water in, but it tastes like good. Honestly, I say the more soup like it is, the better it tastes. So I'm just getting ready to go to work from a cafe and then I'm going to go straight from the cafe to the podcast studio. So I need to get completely ready, do my makeup and wear something that I'm going to record in. I just don't know what I want to wear today. I'm thinking jeans because it's not that nice out, but we'll see. The fact that I have more active wear than like clothes and then I also leave in Queensland and I have so many jumpers is just a bit ridiculous. Okay, I just finished getting ready. I'll show you what I'm wearing. My hairbrush is downstairs, hence the crazy hair. I'll fix that in a second. But just going super basic, wearing the white glasses tank. And then also just these jeans from General Pants, I'm pretty sure. They have the rips in them. And then I'll wear just some um, my Birkenstocks to go with it. But I need to go smash out a whole bunch of work. I need to 
um, reply to all my clients, do two programs and edit some of my YouTube videos. So I need to get going. And it's currently 7.30 a.m. and I haven't had a coffee. That is honestly a record for me. I've woken up, done cardio, done a few things without a coffee. Proud of myself. So I'm gonna go get one because it's well deserved. There we go. <laughs> Good morning. Guten Morgen. <laughs> so say good morning to my vlog. What? <laughs> wow, there's so many vlogs happening. <laughs> Guys, like, vlogging? they got a new juicer. It's so fresh. So fresh, it's so clean. I know. <gasps> Stunning. <laughs> I just pulled up at the Nest Burley, which is where we record our podcast every week. We actually recorded Monday with a guest, but we're doing another one today, so we're a week ahead. And we're just going to talk about anxiety in your 20s, feeling overwhelmed, quarter-life crisis, literally all the things. Um, so it'll be a good episode, and by the time this vlog comes out, it'll be live. So go listen to it, the Raw Reality Podcast. I actually think she's pulling up right next to me right now. Yes, she is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, it does. <laughs> huh? Hello. Uh, we saw your story, you were out. We're like, hmm, I wonder if they were missing. <laughs> Hello. Morning. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> She's funny. Um. Hello guys and welcome back to the Raw Reality Podcast. Okay, Tori, you have so much to update us on in terms of going to Sydney over the past weekend. Yeah, the next generation. So I know for a fact that it's going to happen. Focus on my face. Back from the podcast, I have hit a wall. Well and truly hit a wall. I'm so tired. But it's pretty much 12.15 now. I'm going to do work for the next hour. I don't have too much left to do, which is good. And then I'll make lunch and go train this afternoon and do all the rest of that. But I got a Mac. How pretty is she? Yes, realistically, I could have gotten a monitor because all I actually needed was two separate screens because it's way too hard to just work from like my laptop. So I wanted another screen. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to treat myself and get an iMac and I'm obsessed. I highly recommend. It's a lot bigger than I thought. So like when I'm working on it, I feel like I have to get used to it and like really push it far back, but I'm obsessed. It's so much easier to have two screens. Highly recommend. Was she expensive? Yes. But I also thought it would be so much more expensive because these days a lot of the laptop pros are like six grand, whereas that was only 2,800. Not only. That's a bit ridiculous, but... Not as much as I thought it was going to be. So I'm very happy with my purchase. I'm also wearing trackies, which is just, I haven't worn trackies in I don't even know how long. Since probably last year, because the weather in Gold Coast at the moment is completely overcast, windy and kind of cold. And I love it, to be honest with you. And I never thought I'd really say that, but living in the Gold Coast, you get so used to it being so hot all the time. And constantly being outside, it's actually nice when you don't feel like you have to be outside, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, I'm rambling now. I made a coffee, so I'm hoping this revives me. I'm gonna be here for the next little bit. Um, I think that's all I have to say. I'm just like, my brain's starting to not brain. My brain's starting to not work. I feel like with prep right now, I have little spurts of energy. This morning was super produ productive. See my words, my words aren't wording either. And then recording our podcast, my brain's like, you know what? I've had enough. So we're just gonna do this a little bit and then get the show on the road with training, posing and steps. Slay. Anyways. I'm cooking some lunch now, but I wanted to show you how I kind of meal prep things. So I fully have my pumpkin cut up ready to go, just not cooked. And then I have like some potato there. My broccolini's all cut up, ready to cook. And then I normally have my chicken cut up as well, but I need to do that now. So I pretty much have everything prepared, 
but not cooked. I like to cook it on the day. So that's kind of how I do it rather than meal prepping my meals. I like things a little bit more fresh and especially in prep, I find when you cook every day, it prolongs your meals rather than just like heating up in the microwave and downing it. I feel like you really have to romanticize what you're eating. So that's what works for me. Pretty much the only thing that I'll have pre-cooked is my extra lean mince. That's what I'll always have pre-cooked. And then right now I'm cooking my pumpkin for tonight. So I'll put it in the air fryer with my potatoes and I find that just works better for me. <laughs> of my lunch and it looks so good. I also got this new bowl from Kmart so I can actually fit my whole salad in there now. While I devour my lunch, I like to also read just so I'm not like scrolling mindlessly and it kind of gives me a break midday. So last vlog, I read the Twisted series, all done, finished, all four books, incredible. This will well and truly get you into reading and I promise they look big, but you'll finish them so fast, they're addictive. For an in-between book, I feel like I didn't want a series, just kind of a one and done. I think this does end up being a series. I think there's actually one after it, but more of a one and done book. I'm reading Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. Now the first half, couldn't get 100% into it. I'm not like, I love this book so much, but I can tell that there's like a plot twist about to happen. So I'm just waiting for it. Apparently the second half's really good and I'm exactly halfway and I'll finish that by this weekend. Then I'm starting to read Iron, oh no, sorry. I'm starting to read Fourth Wing. This has been highly recommended. It's freaking huge. Like it's literally the size of my head. That's crazy, but I'm excited. Everyone says that once I start reading these types of books, I'm not gonna go back. So I'll keep you updated with how I go with that one. But in the meantime, I'm gonna read my book eat my lunch and then I'll go get ready to train. I need to get up to go train. <laughs> I'm so tired. It's not even like prep tired I feel. I feel like I'm just, no it probably is. Like let's be realistic. I... Oh. <sighs> I could definitely have pre-workout but I've already had two double shot coffees today and I'm only training legs. And it's like, I don't have as much volume anymore. I'm not doing anything after. It's literally an hour in and I'm done. So I don't need pre-workout. I just have my pump powder and I know I'll be fine. I just want to teleport there. <sighs> I'll allow myself three minutes to complain and then I'm getting up, getting ready and leaving ASAP. <laughs> oh, that wasn't three minutes. That was about 30 seconds. But if I don't get up now, I'm not getting up. Right, I gave myself 10 minutes before having to leave and this is my OTD. I've got my Keep That Pump shorts on, Elevate Gymshark sports bra and I, <laughs> and I feel like I'm going to fall out. Like there's not really much to it, but it looks cute. I have four exercises and then one or four glute and hamstring exercises and then one carb. So it's actually not a bad session at all. It shouldn't take me very long, but in and out, let's go get this done. I have my... PU Science Pump Powder Kiwi Strawberry. This one tastes so good. I normally have the Guava Pineapple Punch, but this one's really good at the moment. All right, let's go do this. I thought it would be fun to do a voiceover for my current leg day. So right now I'm only training legs twice per week and I pretty much have honestly since the start of my prep as my delts needed to come up to match my glutes. So right now my volume has actually decreased with all my sessions as well going from roughly three to four sets to three to two sets, keeping reps the same and intensity the same as much as possible, but just decreasing that volume to make sure that we're limiting fatigue and risk of injury where possible, as my body is quite fragile at this point in prep, not trying to build muscle or anything like that. We're just trying to maintain my muscle mass that I have. So starting off, I'm doing Smith Machine reverse lunges. These are a killer and you need to go slow to feel the burn through that glute 
pushing through your heel as well. The biggest mistake I see with a lot of people is they tend to rush their exercises, especially when it comes to lower body. Honestly, the slower, the better, and that is when I found the most glute growth. Then moving into some barbell RDLs. I'm actually so surprised with my strength on these. I'm able to maintain 90 kilos at the moment. Probably the only exercise that I haven't dropped away at this point in prep. So I've done one to two warm up sets at roughly the bar and then 60 kilos, and then moving up to 90 kilos, doing three working sets of eight reps, making sure I'm slow on the way down, then powering through my heels on the way up to target my glutes and hamstrings there. I always use wrist straps and a belt. It just helps me so much more with my grip and just so I don't use my lower back and it just helps with core stability as well. Then moving into single leg cable abductions. Now, I do these kind of funky, but it's definitely a movement that you need to find what works best for you and where you find the most glute contraction. I really like when my leg comes slightly diagonally behind me, almost in between a cable abduction and glute kickback. I really find it targets my outer glute. And I actually do these twice per week. We don't have an abductor machine at Good Life, which is the most annoying thing ever. So I tend to do this a lot instead and this burns when you do it properly. Don't be afraid to go heavy as well. Then moving on to seated hamstring curls. These freaking kill my hamstrings every time. Slow on the way up. Again, a lot of people rush the upwards phase. I'm doing four sets of 12 reps. And then the last set, I do a drop set. So dropping that weight down roughly 10 to 20 kilos, depending how heavy I've gone. And then really focusing on slow on the way up. And my hamstrings were on fire at this point. I literally died as you can see through my face here. Yeah. Okay. That's enough of that one. Moving into my final exercise for the day, which is calf raises. I'm actually doing calves twice per week at the moment, really trying to make sure that they are matching my hammies and I actually have some type of calves and there's no muscle there at all at the moment. So we're trying to get there as much as possible. And then I'll roughly just do 15 reps, three sets, pretty much to failure every single time. That is my current gym session or my lower body session. I hope you guys enjoyed that little voiceover and let's get back into my day. It's currently nearly five o'clock. I'm home from the gym, just devoured some yogurt as my snack and now I need to go for a walk. I think I'll have to do a roughly four Ks. Changed my tank, will change into a tank, change my shoes. I'm gonna call my mum on the walk to try and pass some time a little bit faster. I literally call it every single day on my walk because I get so bored of walking. And I feel like I listen to podcasts and everything now and it's still fine. Like that helps pass time, but not as fast as calling someone. So I just call everyone I possibly can on my contacts while I walk and it works a treat. So let's go walk. for Chipotle today. Not GYG, not fishbowl, Chipotle. That's what I feel like. And also they're corn chips, so I'm just gonna have to go back to America at some point just to have Chipotle or make my own. I mean, you can come with me. Tori goes to America in 11 days. You know you're going for Easter? Or oh, are you going Tuesday? Yeah. Well, Tori's going to LA in like 11 days, which is just insane. By herself as well. Yeah. Dinner is served and this is literally what I've been having every single night for the last few months on repeat. We're all sitting down to watch Sarah's day. That looks incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Put it all myself. Thank you. <laughs> it's the mic. <laughs> Ready. Ready to rumble. Good morning. Good morning. 
post early, she surprised us. I'm finally in bed and I'm just going to read my book for a bit and honestly I'll probably fall asleep very soon. I am exhausted, like dead. I feel like my whole body is heavy. Even on that walk my pace was like 12 minutes 30 a kilometer. I had to walk so slow because I was just truly really exhausted but we got everything done for today and I have a busy, oh not weekend, only a busy Saturday because I need to drive to Brisbane for a posing clinic with Morgan, which will be really fun, but we've got to do everything else around that. And then Sunday, I'm not doing anything, nothing, just cardio. But like other than that, nothing. And I'm so excited for it. I'm going to sleep in and have the best morning and I'm keen. But for now, I'm going to head to sleep. So thank you so much for watching another vlog. I hope you all enjoyed. And that's quite literally all I have to say because my brain is not working. So good night.